Hello friends, this is Sharan Chatterjee. I will be dealing with special order cases. Let, but special order cases are more frequent in life than we can actually imagine. What is special order cases? Special order cases imagine like that if there are certain orders that need to be customized as per the consumers or the customers requirement, will that be profitable for the organization or if he is planning to launch a new product line and from varying from its existing product line, will the product line be more profitable than not? We will be taking up a problem which uh, actually came in the quiz as a special gift to us and uh, this is referred to in sheet 8 which the first sheet is of Miami Industries problem 4.53 that this is this one is the sheet please open it and go to problem number 14.50 like hmm. of Manhattan fashions in this problem what has been said that the company is manufacturing a dress it has a dress line it is manufacturing only dresses but it is thinking of using this extra spare material which it sells off to other spare uh, vendors it is thinking of using the spare materials to manufacture capes and handbags now it, it has to take the decision will the uh, new product line which is wanting to bring off dresses capes and handbags will that be more profitable or is its current product line that is dresses will that me, will is that more profitable this is the decision that has to be made now what all information it has given in the case first first uh, it has given that the uh, dresses it needs to make is or uh, consists of material which is which has a cost of 50 rupees Uh, 50 rupees in, uh, in the dress course of 12 point air and it requires cost of material is 50 rupees okay that is the direct cost of material the cost of cutting the dress if the cape and handbag are not manufactured that is is 20 dollars and the resultant remnants the remaining parts are sold off at five dollars per dress if the cape and handbag are manufactured the cutting cost will be increased by nine dollars that is it will sum up to 29 dollars there will be no saleable remnants now, how do we actually approach the problem? We, we will consider two product lines. One, that is the present product line consisting of the dress only. This is only the dress part. I have segmented it. And this will be the new product line that it is planning to bring in, which has different combination. That is dress, cape and handbag. That is one combination. Dress and cape. That is one combination. Dress and handbag. That is another combination. The fourth combination is only a dress. Okay, coming to the material part as described in the problem, material is at $50, we just now mentioned. So I have written at every point it is 50, 50, 50, 50. Okay, whatever be the combination, material cost is always at 50. Cutting cost, cutting cost comes at $20. Cutting cost comes at $20, it has been written. So I have mentioned and for the new variant, if the if the cape and handbag are manufactured, the cutting cost will be increased by $9. That is, it will sum up to $29. That I have mentioned here. For this present design, it is coming to $20. And for the new design, each variant will come to $29 each. Okay. Other costs. Other costs. For the other cost part, for the dress part, they have mentioned it is $80. For the cape, it is $19.5. And for handbag, it is $6.5. Please remember this combination. We will be using it in a different way for each combination. 80, 19.5, 6.5. Now coming to the calculation. For other costs, the present variety is only dress. So other costs are $80. For dress, cape and handbag, it is 80 plus 19.5 plus 6.5. Summing up to 106. For dress and cape, it is 80 plus 19.5 summing up to 99.5 for dress plus handbag it comes to 86.5 80 plus 6.5 and for the dress as it is it is 80 summing up total varial cost for each of the lines 150 185 170 165.5 159 all variable cost okay 
when it was manufacturing only dresses the extra spare material it was selling off to some uh, outside vendor or something so it was getting a cost of around 5 rupees uh, for that dress it's mentioned please refer to it yes it, and the resulting remnants can be sold off for five dollars per dress hmm. so when it was manufactured the new product line there were no extra material because it was using it to manufacture the capes and handbags and other things so that actually reduces the variable cost and the net variable cost comes to 145 dollars selling price is it has been given selling price for the dress is 200 dollars for the dress is 200 dollars for the cape is 27.5 dollars and the handbag is 9.5 dollars please remember this we will be again using this in combination for the only dress it is 200 dollars for the all three materials 200 plus 27.5 plus 9.5 that is 237 for the dress and cape it is 200 plus 27.5 that is 227.5 for the dress and handbag it is 200 plus 9.5 200 for the dress it is only 200 as given now subtracting from the total variable cost it gives contribution per unit 55 52 49 44 48 now it is seen it, is, it has been seen the company expects to sell 1250 dresses that is with its present product line but with the market research done it reveals that the dress sales will be 20 percent higher if a matching cape and handbag are available that is 12, 1250 into 1.2 or 20 into 1.2 it gives 1500 1500 dresses will be sold if the new product line will be manufactured this now out of the 1500 what will be the breakup 70 percent will be for dress cape and handbag it gives 70 percent of 1500 it comes to 1050 mm six for the dress and cape it comes to six percent six percent of 1500 is 90 for dress and handbag it comes to 15 percent 15 percent of 1500 is 225 and for the dress only it comes to nine percent that for the nine percent of 1500 is 135 when it was manufactured only dresses the market uh, it will produce only uh, the market will take only 1250 so multiplying that with the individual contributions we get the total contribution but the initial product with the present product line it will give 68,750 multiplying these and adding this up we get a total contribution of new product line to be 74,445 that is it is obviously greater than 68,750 and by how much by 5,695 hence we say we will we see an increase in contribution so we should go for the producing the new product line because we see an added profit.